Hello and welcome to ZTN News Blitz. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Owen Kaura. The headlines. Zimbabwe authorizes the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as more arrive. The police and health officials raid the funerals. The Zimbabwean footballer to be kicked out of the UK. And in sport, Vincent ready to tee off at Tokyo 2020. But first, Zimbabwe has approved the use of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine for emergency use in the country. In a statement, the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe said use of the single-shot vaccine will be allowed for a year. Previously, Zimbabwe had approved the Sinovac, Sinopharm, Sputnik V and Covaxin from India. MCAZ spokesperson Shingai Kwatizo speaks. We did uh, review the information that was received um, uh, to, you know, by MCAZ and we actually issued uh, emergency use authorization. Um, and this has been communicated with the Minister of Health. And meanwhile, Zimbabwe has received 800,000 Sinopharm vaccines from China this afternoon. This takes the vaccines tally received to 5,285,000. To date, 1,522,150 people have been vaccinated against COVID-19 in the country. Police and Ministry of Health officials in Zimbabwe's Mashonal and East Province are now raiding oversubscribed funerals and dispersing mourners. Under the current Level 4 lockdown regulations, funerals are limited to 30 mourners. But some people have been flouting the protocols meant to curb the spread of the virus. With evidence showing that funerals are super spreaders of the virus, authorities in the province are ensuring that residents stick to the stipulated protocols. Let us hear from the province's police spokesperson, Inspector Simon Chazovachi, addressing mourners at a funeral wake in Marondera recently. Sandiso, Sakaru, Dokuta, Chigara, Kautoriko, Kodum, Tenu, Kanachuku, two Milan Batter, Wonga, two Milan Gabatera Kunok, Zinana teaching at us, who taught to Milana. This is in a physical appearance. Marshall and East acting provincial medical director Paul Matsimbo gives us an overview of the COVID 19 pandemic in the province. As at 26 July 2021, as Mashonal in this province, we have recorded 9,889 9, uh, COVID-19 cases, of which 5,649 have recovered and nearly 4,000 are still active cases. Unfortunately, we have lost 241 uh, of our uh, residents of Mash East uh, to COVID-19. And in our crime watch, two Zimbabwean men who escaped from police custody in Limpopo province in South Africa last Wednesday and were rearrested have been each jailed for an effective 22 years for committing several armed robberies in that country. John Fine and Clifford Mutonori were rearrested on Saturday along with South African Figos Matisha following a shootout with police. Their fourth accomplice, Dennis Hove, a Zimbabwean, is still on the run. Limpopo spokesperson uh, Brigadier Motlathela Mojapelo confirmed the latest development to our correspondent to Peo Muleya. The Provincial Commission of Police in Limpopo, Lieutenant General Timbi Khadev, and a police management in the province have greatly welcomed the hefty sentences that were handed down by the Mokubani Regional Court against four criminals who were convicted of armed robberies and other serious crimes that were committed along the N1 route in Belabela, Mudimule, and Mokopani policing areas. Three of the four incarcerated prisoners were rearrested on Saturday after they escaped from a police van last week. In regional and international news, Christopher Arundel, who grew up in the UK and once dreamt of playing professional football, is set to be deported to Zimbabwe, despite a cross-party appeal to the UK Home Secretary to stop his removal. Now, the 26-year-old was born in Zimbabwe and lived in the country until the age of five. His family have become British citizens. His father kept putting off paying the money to sort out his citizenship, so he dropped out of the football academy that had accepted him after leaving school and ended up on the wrong side of the law and did time in prison for drug offences. 
Now, since 2019, the UK says it has removed more than 7,900 foreign national offenders. And moving on, Nigeria plans to launch its own cryptocurrency called the E-Naira in October. This is according to the country's central bank governor. Nigeria barred its banks and financial institutions from dealing in or facilitating transactions in cryptocurrencies in February. Central bank governor Gordon Emefele said that the E-Naira will operate as a wallet against which customers can hold existing funds in their bank accounts. And that story taking us to sports and with the three Zimbabwean athletes out of Tokyo 2020, attention now shifts to golfer Scott Vincent. The 29-year-old will be in action in the men's individual stroke play tomorrow at 12.30 a.m. Central African time. Here's Vincent speaking ahead of his competition. Yeah, the training today was good. Um, got to the course and um, yeah, got right to it. So. Yeah, nice to see everything, see where the, the competition's going to get uh, taken place. And uh, yeah, just to swing the clubs again. It's been a few days, so shaking off some of the rust. And um, yeah, just trying to get ready. And still with the Olympics, fast rising swimmer Donata Katai says it was all about staying calm at the big moment. Reflecting on a sweet Olympic moment, the 17 year old who recorded a personal best in the women's 100 meters backstroke race at Tokyo 2020 says sound preparation helped her achieve that feat. Um, I'm really happy with the time I swam. Um, and I think that really boils down to all the training I've done over the years um, for this event and at the same time um, with all the pressure here in Tokyo of being around the best Olympians in the world um, I think just staying calm and focusing on the swimming was the best part of it. And away from the Olympics, Zimbabwe Sables International loose forward Tino Tender Blythe Mavesere was yesterday officially unveiled as a Cell C Sharks player. Mavesere is on a two year deal with the South African franchise team. I'm here at the Sharks and I'm really excited to start my new journey. And we certainly wish you the best, Tino, on your journey. And for more updates, stay connected with us on Twitter at ZTN News, Instagram at ZTN, and of course, our website, ztn.co.zw.